Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this video series, I'm gonna become the first legit GTA billionaire! And you guys are invited to take this journey with me! And I know what you're asking yourselves, why am I here, who's the other person next to me, and what's happening? Don't worry, I'll explain everything, so let's start at the beginning! And the first thing you need to know is that I'm gonna be playing with a completely new character on a completely new console! Ooh, a discount! And as I said in the beginning, I'm gonna be doing this completely legitimately, no tricks, no glitches! And in case you're wondering, yes, I'm probably gonna be playing with some of you guys very soon, on the Xbox that is. But more on that in a little bit. First, we need to get through the prologue in order to start playing GTA Online. And how difficult could that be? Oh, come on, I wanna play, I wanna play, I wanna play! Yep, uh, that's my cue! Peace, suckers! And I'm gonna spare you the details of how I made my character, but let's just say it looks very similar to the other one, who coincidentally kinda has my likeness. Faux shizzle! And here's the outcome, a face only a mother can love. Cheese! And after I set through an unskippable trailer of the new Kyle Perico Heist DLC, thank you for that, I'm ready to jump into the world of GTA Online. Okay, so apparently with the Premium Edition, which is the base version of the game, I get a million dollars in the bank. A million bucks isn't a lot and it's definitely a very far away from one billion. So of course the first thing I did was go to the casino and claim the $1000 visitor bonus. And apparently you need some sort of a membership in order to spin the wheel, so I paid 500, so they gave me a $5,000 bonus or something like that. But to make a long story short, since I need money, I don't want to land on the vehicle space. Here, I'm looking for cash. Or casino chips. You know, whatever. And at this point, I remember something. One of my first videos that I believe isn't available anymore is about how to make money using the slot machines in GTA Online. So what I did was, went in, was cashed in $20,000 and went and played the slots. And I made one billion dollars. Video over, thank you for watching. Okay, so after blowing through everything that I had except for a thousand dollars, I decided that this isn't gonna be the way to make money. This is. Uh... Okay, so apparently we're not gonna be making money in a casino. What a shock. And even more important than making money is that I need to level up my character, cause nobody else wants to play with me. But first we need to make an important stop. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now we're ready for action. Let me try my chances for the Diamond Casino heist. Okay, that's uh, interesting. Alrighty then, let's restart the game. Oh my god, I can't wait to play GTA Online. What? Oh, that's just great. Just perfect. But uh, don't worry, as it turns out, you only need to beat the prologue once. So chuck one up for the little guy. And as the game was loading, I saw this. Basically, if you complete five stunt jumps across the map, you win $500,000. So guess what I did when finally the game decided to load? That's right, I got my complimentary Turismo R, which by the way is a good car, and I completed one... Hmm, that's weird. Oh, I'm good at the deadline activity. Told you I was good. If at first you don't succeed, apparently fail again. Quit my crew. Now I know how to fix that. There, feel invited. Uh, okay, bispa it is. And as I said, you're welcome to join. Oh great, more cookies. And now that I'm back in the legitimate crew, it's time to go back to what I was doing before. One, two, three, um, three. Oh, so close. Okay, three? Okay, this has to be the one, right? There we go, three. And number four. No, 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 I'm not playing that again. So this is number four, and this is number five. I hope. And in case you're curious, the car was like this when I found it. Wink. Okay, I completed five stunts, now where's my money? Wait, what did it say on the promotional screen? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, by April 14th. Okay. Hey, since I got this car for free, I wonder if... Ah, of course not. I gotta be honest, guys, at this point, I kinda started getting frustrated. All the activities and ways to make money that I'm used to are not unlocked yet for me. And even better, everybody kicks me out of a heist. I can't even complete a single mission. Well, at least this time the guy just left. Nah, now that's more like it. And I don't even have objectives unlocked, so I can't even make money that way. For some reason, the parachuting events aren't unlocked for me, so I can't make money that way even though they're triple money in RP this week. I can't participate in survivals, because they're a good way to make money fast. I've honestly become complacent with my high-level character. But it can't be that bad. Let's see what a typical Hitman mission pays you within the game. Oh, that's just pathetic. So let's do the math, guys. I started with a million dollars and somehow I managed to lose money. I am literally going in the wrong direction. I should be making money. 
So that's exactly what I did next. I somehow joined the survival and... Oh man, we suck. Okay, uh, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe I'll be able to make money completing a mission with someone. Well, thanks there, buddy. Let's try a different one. And the main problem that I have playing with people who have lower level characters is that I'm either playing with idiots, kids, or a combination of the two. Oh man, you guys suck! And to top off the insult, I got invited to a heist, then got kicked out, and then my game froze. Thank you. Thank you very much. And when I restarted the game, I was greeted by this. Oh, f*** you. But then I remembered something. You can make a pretty decent amount of money completing all of the San Andreas flight school training thing. And of course it's not here. Maybe I can start by completing Lamar's missions. Ah, of course not. So I went to the thing that I'm good at, spinning the lucky wheel. And even though I like the current podium vehicle, the RSX, my priorities are different. I need to make money. And if memory serves me correct, you can win a lot of money if you manage to land on the mystery prize. And luckily, I know how to do it. Even made a video about it 7-8 months ago. So, basically this is what I got. Not bad. $100,000. And if you're curious as to why I'm not completing any of the races or RC Bandino races, well, I don't have a car and I don't have an RC Bandino. I can't even participate in the premium races. I'm telling you guys, starting from scratch is more difficult than I anticipated. And somehow in the meantime, I've unlocked the flight school. And I'm not gonna bore you with exactly what he did or how I completed everything, but this is basically all the medals that I got. Not bad. And for the medals, I got $165,000. Again, not great under normal conditions, but keep in mind, I'm level 9 at the moment. And you know what they say, beggars can't be choosers. And I just wanna do a quick PSA here. Kids, crime doesn't pay. So let me try something else. Let me try an honest day's work. And done. And it only took me 28 minutes. Come on now, let the millions roll in, baby! Oh... That's not a million. But to make a long story short, I tried the Diamond Casino heist as a level 9 this time. Okay, any second now. Ugh. And, not joking, logged back into the game, deposited some money, the game started to load the lobby for a new heist, and... Oh, okay, I, I know how this one goes. Ludendorff North Yonkton 9 years ago. Anyway, to make a long story a bit shorter, I was somehow invited into the drop zone activity, which if you don't know this week, you can make triple money in RPN, and I played it for, well, a couple of hours. Lost some, won some, but let's be fair, I lost most of them. But in the time that I was, well, winning, I was able to make a total of 1.5 million dollars, including the money that I got from the beginning. So there was only one logical thing left to do. Go to the casino and purchase the penthouse. This way, next time we'll be able to start doing the Cayo Perico heist and start making some mucho dinero. And for those of you who don't speak French, that means a lot of money. And after one incredibly annoying and incredibly unskippable cutscene, here we are. But you know what guys? I think there's one more thing that's left for us to do in this episode. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. What? You didn't think I was gonna miss the RSX, did you? And speaking of the RSX, which is a pretty decent car, as I said in my review video, it's in the top 3 fastest vehicles in the game. So let's go to Los Santos Customs, fully upgraded and fully customize it. Hmm, that's gonna be a good way to end this one. Wait, what? Okay, well at least I can custom... Oh. And I guess with that bitter disappointment, it's time to end this one. But the good thing is that we've set up everything so we can start making a lot of money from next time. And even though I wasn't able to become the first GTA whatever, we have a long way to go and there's no rush. It's gonna be a fun journey, I am gonna be playing with you guys definitely because I'm gonna need all the help I can get in order to get 1 billion dollars. And with that, thank you for watching, hope you liked the video and if you did, please consider liking it, subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like what you just saw, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Some things never change, do they?